today I will show you how to make the glitch shower effect. Yo, hello, it's Slovika Sumerian Visuals here, and let's begin. So the first thing we want to do is pre-compose our clip, so I'll cut the clip right here, because I don't want it to start from here, but I just want to start it somewhere from the middle. We need to right-click on it and press pre-compose, and here move all attributes into new composition, and I'll just call it glitch here, and press OK. Uh, now double-click here, and here you'll want to go to composition, composition settings, and here you want to make the width really small, so 288, and the height make it like 100. 188 as well and press ok now you will see it will be very much zoomed in so you will need to press s and now just drag it down a lot so i have it for like 15 i don't know what will it be for you you can do it similar like this and now let's press ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer and the first effect we will add is echo here we will want to make the echo operator to maximum number of echoes to 10 starting intensity 0.71 decay to 0.79 now let's add exposure here make the exposure 0.65 and keyframe it and also make the gamma correction 1.52 now add glow we just want to add the normal glow though make the glow threshold 71 glow radius 153 glow intensity 0.4 now we want to add we are chromatic aberrations here we want to make the aberration red to minus 1.8 aberration green to minus 4.2 and the aberration blue to 2.5 and go to frame layout and make it stereoscopic over under. Now we need to add curves. Here we need to make one point here and one point here and just drag this point down a little bit and this one a little bit up. Now we need to add hue saturation, uh, make the master saturation to minus 59, master lightness to minus 10. Uh, now we need to add noise, one of the best effects. Make the amount of noise 13% and unchecked clip result values. Now add CC threshold RGB. Here make the blend with original to 88% and now go to red threshold, make it 89.2, make the green threshold 102, blue threshold 56.1. Now we already have some sort of a glitch shutter. Now we will add some effects from a free plugin called Omino, which I really recommend to check it out uh, because it's free. Uh, so the first effect will be Omino colorizer and the color you want to make is probably like dark purple, although it can be whatever you want. It's completely fine to pick whatever. So you can copy the hashtag if you want and you'll have the same color as me. And now we need to add Omino diffusion. You'll just want to make the error across to zero. And now we want to add wave warp, uh, make the wave type to noise, wave height to minus one, wave width to 34 and the direction to zero make pinning to horizontal edges now add mosaic make the horizontal blocks 400 vertical blocks 400 and check on sharp colors and the last effect we want to add is sharpen uh, make the sharpen amount like 20 and we have made the bare bones of this effect so what we need to do now is press u on the adjustment layer and now go one frame forward and here we have our exposure keyframe so on this frame i want to make it to 1.52 exposure and now we'll go one frame forward and here make it 0.65 and now hold alt and press on the stopwatch here type loop out and click on this one and now we just will keep looping a flicker effect sort of and what we can do is press on one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select the keyframes go to animation save animation preset and here you can make a new folder by pressing this and new folder i would call it glitch shower and i've already made it and these are my presets so i would call it glitch shower 288 x 188 since that is the composition settings that you need for this effect and now press save now we need to get out of here and look oh it's kind of small so you need to press s here and it will bring the scale keyframes and what you need to do is just scale it up to your preferred size so somewhere like here i guess i kind of like it like this now we can add exposure on here because we want this to flicker even more just keyframe it at zero for now now add posterized time now my frame rate is 24 fps so i'll make it three times lower here so eight if you have 30 frames per second, then you will need to make this to 10. And if you add it in 21 frames per second, you'll need to make this to 7 and so on. And now we want to press U and here we will have our exposure. So we can go two frames forward from the start and here make the exposure to 2.92. Now you can make this lower, but I kind of like it like this. It gives that even worse glitch look like I don't know how to explain it. And now go one more frame forward and make it minus 0.55 here. And we will have a little flicker. And now what you need to do is again 
can hold alt press on the stopwatch type loop out and yeah and we can save this preset as well by pressing on the effects pressing ctrl a holding shift selecting the keyframes go to animation save animation preset uh, go to your glitch shower folder and i called it glitch shower flicker whenever you want to add this effect so here i have a clip and i will just pre-compose here and press move all attributes into new composition press ok and now go here uh, make the composition settings to 288 the height to 188 and press ok now scale it down here to whatever you want i i have it at 15 percent press ctrl alt y now go here type glitch sure or whatever you have named it and just drop it down you'll have your glitch sure here go out of here scale it up and add glitch sure flicker and this is how fast you will be able to make the glitch sure effect and this works very well between transitions so what i like to do is for example on here i had like basically got a lot of different frames and i just made them go really fast i deleted posterized time as you can see i unchecked it and for a transition it will just go like fast with the frames forward if you want to make this look even cooler you can make a lot of different glitch showers with our editing packs and one of the packs is my newest vhs pack with the pack you can make videos that i'm showing right now in the pack, you can just add overlays here and you will have a really good like shower if you add it below here. And the overlays fit very well with this glitch shower. Another great pack would be TV Glitch Overlay Pack V2, which would work very well and you can create your own showers with just the presets that we have in the packs. Another good one would be Halloween pack as well. And if you want to check out the packs, the link will be in the description. Let's get back to the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. You can join our Discord server and there we will respond way faster. And that's basically it. All right. Right. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.